have the girls. Hmm? Last year I came here and complained of not having a child. And you asked me to go home and make sacrifices, which I did. And today, the girls have finally blessed me with a child. And that is why I'm here, to thank them with all these items. This is a beautiful child. Oh, Gugu. You may look easy, I'm not going to kill you with some more. Okay, then. Eh? She will grow into a very beautiful girl. She will get a good husband. And she will have children. Ugugu has blessed her. You can go home. Thank you, eyes of the Thank you, eye of the ghost. Emma, fear not, for I am the angel of the Most High God. My Lord, what have I done? You did nothing. Blessed are thou amongst women, for you have found favor in the sight of God. For your prayers and tears have come before God. The Lord say that you shall have a child, and he shall be a source of joy and a freedom to you and your household. As it was for Sarah, the wife of Abraham in the past, so shall it be unto thee. Let your will be done, O Lord. God of our ancestors, God of Ogunade by my people, I have come to present to you the child that you gave me. His name shall be honored here because he will take after me as the chief priest of Ogugu. He will not fail in his responsibilities. This I promise you, Ogugu. Ogugu. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, O Gugu. Nai. 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 Were you sleeping? I was sleeping. I was. An angel appeared to me and told me that I will have a child. And that the child will be a male child. Wait. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, Nai. I marveled and doubted the angel. But he told me that, as it was for Sarah in the Bible, so shall it be with me. Hmm. It means that the gods have remembered us at last i was in a trance standing in the shrine before the gods and holding forth a male child this can be mere coincidence no may the will of god be done in our lives mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let me tell you what we shall do 
you will pray more fervently to your God. Hmm? On my own part, I will make more sacrifices to the gods. I know that before long, a baby boy will be born in this house. Hey, nah. mm? The Lord has done it for us. Mm. What is it? I'm just coming from the clinic where the doctor confirmed me pregnant. <laughs> Wait. Doctor said you are pregnant. Yes, no. Doctor said you are pregnant. And I. <laughs> God has finally remembered me, oh. <laughs> hey. May the gods be praised. May the gods of our ancestors be praised. So at last we shall have a son in this house. Oh, thanks to God Almighty. Hey. Tomorrow, first light, I shall go to the shrine of the local deity. And I will sacrifice a goat in appreciation. <laughs> Nay, the Lord is good. Join me. Nay, you enjoy it. You enjoy it. Ogu gwe kene ngi, e kene mi bi ne melive, kene bi ne melive. Eh, asim no nye ngalgi, melive nye julgi, julodogu. Onye kula kulu omiye ni onye kula kulu omiye na azu ipe ukwa ile mezuye onye kishwe kulu kubwe baani eh time was when I would sit down and cry abu anive abu anive from today the story is different you have given me the son that I asked for I am happy I will sing for you the song that my eight mates sing whenever they are happy and they are drinking. <laughs> I will sit down. As him, no, 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 you have given me that son that I asked for. You have fulfilled your pledge. It is now left for me to fulfill my own part of the bargain. I shall raise him in your service. He will take over from me as your chief priest. So I said I must bring you a goat in appreciation. It is now left for me to bring that son you have given me and dedicate him to you. I can never stop thanking you, Ogugu. Ekenengi. 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 Yeah.
Are you sure you're all right? Yes, I'm fine. You've been moody for days now. Are you sure you're fine? Re, with what I'm suspecting now, I... I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> you can't be serious. Mama, are you sure of what you're saying? Did you just say you're pregnant? What is it? What is it? Why are people shouting? Mama, tell him, tell him now. Igwe, I'm pregnant. What? Hi! God of my fathers, I thank you. I thank you for this. Eh? Pregnant? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, Chim. Oh, Chim. Oh, my God. <laughs> My heart is filled with joy today. I am very, very elated. I'm happy. Because God has answered our prayers. This has shown that he neither sleeps nor slumbers. For 25 years, Sister Kemma, you have been crying and begging God for a miracle. And that he has done for you. A child, giving you a child. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. Anna, Anna, Anna to Mary. There is nothing our God cannot do for us. Therefore, I urge you to put all your hope, your trust in Him. He will do everything according to His promises. I have news for you. Good news. Good news. It's not the kind I just tell you anyhow. It comes out with palm wine. have revealed to me that your wife eh? is pregnant with a son. Eh? Oh, eh? Oh, eh? Finally, 
Ogugu has shown that for those that serve him diligently, they will not be put to share. You are right. <laughs> Our fears of losing the throne to Ogugu clan have been taken care of. I'm so happy for the Igwe. I'm praying that this child will be a male child so that he can replace the Igwe on the throne. Definitely. It's going to be a male child. Eh? The gods cannot send us to the farm without necessary farm implements. That's correct. That's correct. Oh, oh. Hey, where are you? Greetings. Yeah, hello. 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 That my cock, the fat one, send it to her, let them use it to prepare some dishes for her. Oh, 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 today Will you want some palm wine? Mm -mm. The palm wine is too fresh. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Uh, uh, there's one fowl I left there. <coughs> Please go and cook it for me. Oh, um, nice. Put some pepper in it. Oh, nice. And onions. Oh. I can't touch it. What? Hey, you know I'm a Christian. I cannot touch anything that is used for sacrifice. I won't touch it. Hey. I am the chief priest of Ogugu. No, I know. What Ogugu eats, I eat. When I sacrifice any animal to Ogugu, I will also eat part of it. So go and cook it for me. I alone will eat it. Nay, as a Christian, I cannot touch anything that is used as sacrifice for, for this deity. No, I can't touch it. I'm sorry, Nay, I'm not disobeying you. But I can't, I can't touch it. All right, don't touch it. You serve the living God. Yes. I serve Ogugu. Ogugu. I will cook that fowl and I will put pepper in it, salt and onions, and I will eat it alone. Now, if you use my pot, I will, I will throw the pot away. I can't use that pot afterwards.
She has put to bed. You have a son. Eh? You have a son. <laughs> eh? Let me go and clean her up. Go. <laughs> Lord, I have a son. The gods be praised. I have a son. So I now have a successor. So somebody can now take over from me. <laughs> hey! I thank you, God. I now have a son. I now have a son. I now have a son. I thank you. I thank you for giving me a son. I thank you, God. At last, you have given me a son. You have granted my request. And I thank you. I thank ye gods. This son you've given me will take over from me. He shall be the chief priest after me. He will obey all your ordinances. Make all the sacrifices you require. You will know through his dedication that he is my son. And through him, I will express my gratitude to you. I thank you for granting me this favor. I thank you. I thank you. Amen. 
e dingas neti kbrohine. Oja singas ma fujesu. Ala ja sali kechwa wai da yekta wai. Ekane maria jikta na graiso sebu anye regi. E dingas neti kbrohine. Oja singas ma fujesu. Ala ja sali kechwa wai da yekta wai. Maria jifta na grace o sebo a nye regi I dingo zne ti kuro nini O dja singo zma fo jesu Maria jifta na grace o sebo a nye regi Mm-hmm. What about you? Oh, Emeka went for block rosary. He went for what? No, he went to pray with other children. Ekema, why must you keep flouting my orders in this house? Why? I've said it. I don't want Onochi going for that nonsense. Now when I say... Good day, Papa. Where are you coming from? I went for block rosary. You disobeyed my orders. You disobeyed my orders. Kneel down. Hey. Kneel down! What you're doing to this boy is not fair. What has he done? What offense has he committed? Why must he go to worship a strange god? Why? Nani? You call the almighty God a strange God? Nani, have you forgotten that we got married before this almighty God that you refer to as a strange God? This boy has chosen to serve the only true God. Please let him follow his heart. I got married to you in the church. I accept. That was before I became the chief priest of our local deity, Ogugwani. Ogugu is the god of our ancestors, the god of our fathers, the god that provides for all our needs. My son must serve Ogugu and Ogugu alone. He will not serve the white man's God, not in this house. Papa, there is nothing wrong in me serving the Almighty. Shut up before I sacrifice you to him. Papa, 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 somebody help. Papa, Papa, wake up. Papa, please. Papa, Papa. Papa, 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 <laughs> Somebody help! <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Stand up, son of God. Mother Mary, Mother Melonia, Mama, I love you. Mother Mary, Mother Melonia, I love you. Mother Mary, Menke Jason, Nema, Thank you. 
Mama, I want to tell you something. What is it, my son? I just had a dream. In that dream, I was walking across the compound and I saw people crying because you just lost a member of your family. So I went into the compound and prayed a Lord's prayer and the man got up. <laughs> you prayed and the man woke up? Yes, Mama. I was baffled. I don't even understand the dream at all. I don't understand this either. But it's okay. We'll go and see the Reverend Father later in the day so that he can help us interpret the dream. Okay, Mama. Thank you. Should I help you? Glory be to Jesus. Honor and to Mary. From the story you have told me now, I am confident to tell you that this boy has been called by God. I don't understand. He has been called by God to serve him in his vineyard as a priest. Father, do you mean that I will become I will become a priest like you one day? A priest of the Most High? Only if you pay heed to that. But it's very, very imperative, very important that he answers the call of God. Father, I am elated by this revelation, but at the same time, I am afraid. We all know who and what my husband stands for in this village. How will I tell him? Sister Kemma. Father. No man, I mean no force on earth, beneath the earth and in heaven can stop the call of God. Nothing will make anybody stop him from becoming the priest of the Most High if it's God's will. Father, I want to answer this call. You will, my son. You will. Emeka? Yes, Papa. Take off your shoes. Whenever you come to the shrine of Ogu, you must take off your shoes. Have you heard me? Yes. Have you heard me? Yes. Ogu, we ban ya kenengi, can you ban a melibe, can you ban a melibe? As him not give a boom, madam, but in do not go see a cove one yan as you know, put as you were. You go on a twelve war war, go away banny, eh? What you want a new run near Siablo Pavo, who I can angi, can you mean a belly give him? Nanim, when I will do. I will be here, your Bacalamad or Calam I be your one more night here for work when I promised you. Ogugu. But if you give me a son, 
he will worship you. He will take over from me as your chief priest. You have fulfilled your own part of the bargain, Ugugu, by giving me a son. And today, I have come to present that son to you. This is my son, Emeka. He shall serve you. Emeka, you will serve Ugugu and no other strange god. Emeka. Yes, Papa. Have you heard me? Yes, Papa. Now bow. Bow before Ogugu. Bow. Bow. Please now. Papa, my legs are aching me. Yes, I love you. Hey. Nine. Then why did you name him down? Because he disobeys me. Emeka, why did you disobey your father? Um, I did not disobey him. I did not. No, what did he do? Two things. He went for blood rosary. I told him not to. He did. Paul brought a goat for sacrifice and I said, go and tie this goat. He left the goat and the goat ran away. Can you imagine that? Now is that all? Emeka, get up. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Kneel down. Nine. Get up, Emeka. I said, kneel down, and you must recover that good. Nine. Why are you so much against Christianity? You were once a Christian before now. Why are you punishing him because he went for block rosary? Hi. Nani, you went for block rosary when you were younger. You were even a mass server. You told me you got married to me in the Catholic Church. Why are you punishing him? You gave me freedom of worship. Nani, why are you doing this? Why are you against Christ? Whereas you were a Christian before now. Emeka, get up. Come, let's go inside. Your mother has seen you. If you never knew Jesus in Atunyaka, what a type of God to feature in Jamu? If you never knew Jesus in Atunyaka, life where you did not go to get a more, life where you did live not go to get a more. Why are you sitting here alone? Are you okay? Auntie, my father is the problem. What's wrong with him? Is he alright? He does not want me to 
to serve God. He does not want me to answer the call of God in my life. I understand. You know it's not easy to get your father to your side. But don't worry. God will surely make a way. Inugo. I don't want to serve Ogugu. I want to be a priest for God and him alone. I want to serve Ogugu. I understand, Mama. What will be, will be. Go, stand up, let's go home. Come. I don't want to serve Ogugu. Emeka is indeed called by God and we must not make him not to serve God. How you go by? What can I do? Ieliyoba has vowed to deal with me. If I don't keep away from Emeka's life, Kwanum is it possible? Eh? I understand your predicaments. But I have a plan that will give us a walkover. What plan? Jewel, our brother. He will do the magic. How would Jewel do the magic? <laughs> Jewel is going back to Rome next week. I think it's a good idea if he takes a mecca along. Emeka! Emeka! Yes, Ma, call me. It's welcome. Thank you. You will be going to Rome with your uncle Joel. When you get there, you will go into a seminary school. Ma, how come? Because Papa has vowed never to allow me to go there. Don't worry. I have the plan worked out already. Just get prepared. It's a lie. <laughs> Don't <laughs> let your father hear this. So. Hey! <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> this boy will choke me with love. But you go come Mm. Mm. My younger brother, Joel, mm. will be going back to Rome tomorrow. And he wants to go America to go with him. Mm. Well, Joel is my only son. Why does he want to take him away? Why? Nah. Mm. It's not like he wants to take him away from us. Mm. He wants to enroll him in a good school so that he can acquire a sound education. You know our schools here are always on strike. Yeah, but... I want Don Oche to be raised in the ways of our people. I don't want him to be brought up in the court of a strange land, no. I want him to be educated here. Nice. Mm -hmm. Our son will be the light and liberator of our land, Ubuna Adabe. Mm. If he acquires his education there, he will be the first in the history of our land. Mm. I want one of you to be head and shoulders above all his peers. And I know that um, can only achieve that through some education. Hmm? Okay. <clears throat> when do you say that your brother is coming? Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you have my consent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. but that's on one condition. He must spend his holidays here with us. Nah, that will not be a problem. Alright. Mm. Nah, thank you very mm. much. Mm. This year is very good. Honor, <laughs> mm. cheer. Yes, sir. This is Joel. 
your mother's brother. He lives outside the country, in the capital of Italy, Rome. The very successful businessman. He will take you with him to Rome so that you can acquire advanced education. Did you hear me? Yes, Papa. You will acquire advanced education. So that when you come back, you will be a very prominent member of our society. I want you to take our culture along with you to Rome. Don't let their own culture influence you. At all times, you must remember the place you're coming from and the son of who you are. Hmm? Yes, Papa. You are my son. The son of Iyeliaba Odogu and Odogu Namu Odogu. Therefore, you must take this name to Rome and come back with it a very mature and accomplished man. Hmm? Yes, Papa. Good. Papa, I want to assure you that I will not forget home. I know that God who has made this day possible has a greater plan for me and for all of us here. That is my son, Onochie, talking, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Papa. Now get down on your knees. Ogugu will protect you. Ogugu will protect you. I leave you in the hands of our ancestors. Rise. God is always with you. It is well with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Uh, sir, we, we have to run along now. The journey is actually far and I want to show you that he's in safe hands. Thank you very much. Hmm? Our journey was successful. Thank you very much. All right, you can go now. Where's your bag? Get your bag. Brother. Hey. I want you to swear by Ugugu that you will not marry a white woman. Hey, no, he, because he will not marry a white. Swear by Ugugu that you will not marry a white woman. Uh, sir, we have to really run along now. The journey is actually far. Hey, man. Oh, you the Where may be me, Priest, here in Ugunadebe. Show yourself. 
Show yourself and challenge me if you're man enough. Haven't I warned you to leave Uguna the way? Hmm? Who are you, Ie Lioba, to restrict my movement? Have you forgotten? I am not under anyone's command. This land is not for people like you. No. It is not, by the way. What pleasure do you derive from drinking the blood of innocent children? I ask you. I am not blind and powerless like you. I take whatsoever I want. No one, not even you, can stop me. I will spare you today and tolerate all your insults. Okala, leave Uguna Who are you to ask me out of Uguna I am a freeborn here. You lost that status of a freeborn the day you began to drink the blood of children. For the very last time, Okala, get out of Uguna Adewe. And if I don't, what will you do? What will I do? You dare challenge me? Women will use you as their grindstone, and this is what you will be permanently. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.
As a reverend father, as a priest of the most high. Father, Mama. Mama. <laughs> father. Mama. Father. Ne, father. <laughs> ne, father. Oh, <laughs> glory to God. Hey. Mama, where is Papa? Uh, he went out, of, but I'm sure he will soon be back. Okay, he'll be back soon. Okay, my boy. Gods of our forefathers, gods of our ancestors, what did I do wrong? What evil have I committed? I have served you with all my heart. I have followed your ordinances punctiliously. My son, whom I dedicated to you, has become a priest of a strange god. Why did you allow this to happen? Why? Why, gods, I ask you, have you chosen to inflict such humiliation on me? I ask you again, Ogugu Ebanyi, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What did I, Iyeliaba, do wrong. Mama, hmm? as I was driving into the village, I saw a mad young man. He actually blocked the road. He stood in front of my car. I waited for him to pass before I continued, but while that was happening, I... I realized his face was so familiar, but I, I couldn't place where I knew him from. That must be Ikem. He has been mad for a long time now. Ikem? Who, who is Ikem? Who, whose son is he? Our great son now. Your friend. Jesus Christ. Ikem. My age mate? Mm -hmm. He came. How, how did it happen? Mom, that was how we saw it. He woke up one morning and went mad. He has been like that ever since. God have mercy. Mm. The only son of the Igwe, his hope? Papa, good afternoon. No, welcome. Mama, he's at it again. What do we do? How do I handle this? My son, let the almighty God direct you. At the end of the day, he's still my father. Papa, good day. Papa, I'd like us to talk. Ever since I came back, you have not talked to me. You've acted cold towards me. I, I want you to understand that I did what I did in the interest of this family and the overall interest of the community. No. 
you took your decision purely to insult me to spite me you took your decision to serve a strange god at the expense of ugugu the deity that we worship that we follow and you stand here to tell me that you did it in my own interest uh, Papa Jesus Christ, the mediator of the new covenant, shed his blood on the cross of Calvary so he can salvage us from the evil gods of this world. Yeah, listen to me. I don't care who you worship or what you worship. Ogugu is our God. And I am the chief priest of Ogugu. Iyelioba Odugu. Ogugu is the God of our ancestors. Ogu with the God of our fathers, the protector of our people. By the way, there is something I've never told you, and I'm going to say it now. I lived with your mother for 25 years, and we had no child whatsoever. And I went to Ogugu. I made supplications to Ogugu. I made sacrifices to Ogugu. I entreated Ogugu to give me a son, and I promised Ogugu that if I got a son, that son will succeed me as the chief priest of Ogugu, the deity of Ogunadewe. It was Ogugu that gave you to me. I made supplications to Ogugu, I made sacrifices at last. Ogugu decided to grant my request and gave you to me. No, Father, do not believe that. I am a product of God. The Almighty Father. The creator of the universe. We can't continue to bow to Ogugu and its kind. Oh, no, Chie. As far as I am concerned, you are dead. Oh, no, Chie, you are dead. You can leave now. You're not welcome. Ogugu Biko Bagalia. Abraham Kulia. Ieliaba is heartbroken. How can his only son, the son, that son, he took the gods years to give to him. That same son went ahead. To become a reverend father. Abomination. Hello, man. Hey. hey. What Onoji has done is sacrilegious. Wow. He has totally disregarded the, uh, our tradition. It is the wife that I blame. A Kemma, just like my own wife, Odugo. They have no regard for the gods of our land and the things we believe in. A Kemma has led Onoji as. And if he continues like that, he will be totally destroyed. I
children of God, the Bible admonishes us to shun idol worship. He even told us in the commandments that thou shalt have no other God but me. Oh, Kuchuku. But this land of Uguna Adabe has been under siege. They have dwelt in darkness for so long. There is need for the light of God to shine in this community. Shall we continue in perpetual darkness? No! Shall we continue in perpetual bondage? No! Therefore we shall take the message of God to them. We shall go from door to door, house to house, spread the good news. That is our assignment as children of God. And when you are assigned with him, and he calls your man, so that we shall bring back souls to God, so that Jesus will be happy with us, so that the host of heaven shall rejoice. For the Bible says, there is joy when a sinner is converted. Otito dilinu Jesu. You need to embrace Christ for you to experience peace and progress. It doesn't take much. All it takes is dedication, belief, accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior, and everything is well. Why do you, why do you think an idol can save you? What is in a carved wood that can actually save you? Are you saying that Ogugu is an inferior god to your own god? That is blasphemy. I am saying that Ogugu can neither save nor give life. Since you were born up until now, how many lives has he saved? Has he ever moved? Has he talked? Have you heard him speak? What is in a wood, in an image carved from wood by a fellow man like you? How do you make that your God? How? Okay, let me ask you, or even tell you, you want us to convert to serve your own God, Abby? The true living God. Okay, but I think you should go home first and convert your father, who is the chief priest of our land. Go, go. After all, they say charity begins at home. That is it. Go, go, go. Go, go. have called me for this job. that is serving a strange God and it is even worse that is converting our people to his own faith. Hear you about what is all this thing, so what, 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 what can we do about this? <clears throat> Igwe, it's a matter that has given me cause for great concern. That boy is from my own loins. That boy, that, that, that boy is my son. I have said to myself that this is a matter for the gods to handle. He comes home and comes with this worship of a strange god and the people are following him. I have reported the matter to the gods and I have told them this is your fight. Igwe, what else can I do? The gods must respond to this uh, boy's action. And fast. Here you are. I am worried about my son's condition. He can. I'm also worried. Igwe, because each time I see him, I say to myself, this is the son of the Igwe, who has been my friend from childhood. This is the boy who is supposed to
to succeed his father at the Igwe to secure the throne for us. The gods will come to your aid. In their own time, they will restore health to Ikem. I can tell you this, Igwe, they will. What if I die now? What, what, what is... Igwe, are you going to kill yourself? I know how old your father was before he died. Are you going to kill yourself? You have longevity in your family, Igwe. The gods will cure your son. I know that. I can tell you that with some measure of authority. And when it happens, we shall celebrate it, Igwe. This I know. Good day, Papa. What do you want here? I have come to you with the message of our Lord Jesus Christ, the giver of life. Papa, I want you to embrace him. Honor, cheer, you are a disgrace to me. You are an insult to Ogugu, a deity that has given us life. You are not my son. No. Not honor, cheer, that used to be my son. Not anymore. Not anymore. I understand how you feel, Papa. But I chose the right path. I chose light. And I want you to come out of this darkness into that light. Honor, Chia, leave my compound. You have ears, and I presume that you still hear. Leave my compound. I hope one day you will come to the light. I'm not going to see you again. 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 But for the fact that you're my son, I would have inflicted madness on you now. That's why I know Gigi Gigi Demma. When you pull up, pull up, yeah, yeah. Pull up, pull up. You two go one them. I am in a dilemma. My house is on fire, and this growing tension is threatening to tear my family apart. I don't know what else to do. But this is expected. Of course. I mean, you don't expect total peace between Emeka and his father. They are totally of different faith. I'm very scared. I don't want my son to get hurt. Iye Leopa has totally locked his heart against his son and declared him an enemy. Hi! Will you fight for God? You cannot. All we need to do is let him have his way and let his will be done. I... How I wish Emeka would just go somewhere else. Who knows? Maybe this whole tension will go away. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The God that brought him here in the first place is for a purpose. We cannot do otherwise. Chukunam, <sighs> please protect my son. Let no evil come close to him in Jesus' name. Uh, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All we need to do is to continually pray for him. And that's all he wishes we do for him. 
Chuk. You are a sister indeed. Father Almighty, I come before you in supplication. I have come to seek your face. Deliver your people. Deliver them from the bondage of the evil one. Deliver them from the clutches of Satan. Deliver them from idolatry and paganism. I cannot do it alone. I beseech you, my father, it is you who have sent me on this journey. Come to my aid. Turn their face around to the light. May they see the light and testify your goodness. Make him realize that indeed there is a God of the universe. Make him see the true light of salvation. Channel his thoughts towards you. May he know that indeed there is God. I bring him before you. I cannot do this alone. Shed your light upon this community. May your kingdom come in this town. May your will be done in this town. I pray you, Jehovah. I pray you, my Father. I know you will not let me down. Because you have sent me on this mission, you shall give us victory. Your name shall be enthroned forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you for answering prayers. Which kind of do go free challenge him? If we never knew Jesus in Atunyaka, what type of God free challenge him? If we never knew Jesus in Atunyaka, life where you did not go to get some more. Life where you did live not go to get some more. Watchman is watching him fair. Oh, yeah, Jenny, Jenny, for one name. A bolona, Jenny, for Jenny, for Doda. Oh, yeah, Jenny, Jenny, for a gadget, so I got your teacher, can't you? A gabuzo got up watching this. Ada, huh? are you sure we're in the right place? <laughs> What's going on? I'm beginning to doubt myself too. Maybe what has happened to Ngene River? Maybe we took the wrong route. Ngene River was supposed to be here. What is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is evil. Ada. Uche. Can you see my boy? May God have mercy on this <laughs> What is the man says us? What have I done? The best is too much. It is too much. Oh. Oh. Come on, I'm gonna. I'm mad, my dear Mifa. I said, so we are at you.
You didn't fade the water again. Papa, you won't believe what is happening in this village now. What's happening? Papa, Ngene River has dried up totally. Are you sick? Are you well at all? Papa, this was not about sickness. So. It was as if the river was never there in the first place. It still baffles me. I can see you just cook up the story to invent fetching water. But mind you, we need water in this house. Papa, I'm not lying. I'm serious. I'm not lying. Tell that to your story to your friends. The fairy tale. Papa, I'm not lying. I'm telling you. May the gods of Ubunadabe forbid the lizards from having hairs. How do we even explain or imagine this? That the Ngene River is dried up? Mama, Papa, I was shocked to the bones. I have never heard or seen anything like this except for the story in the Bible. This is the work of our enemies, the handiwork of our enemies. It's dark magic. This is witchcraft. And, and we need Jesus to even save us from it. Mm, Welcome. Fine. Have you heard the latest? <laughs> Is it the fairy tale my daughter brought down to me? Yeah? Yeah. It should be now that, uh, that the Ingene River is dried up. Nani, it's not a, a, a fairy tale. The Ingene River is dried up. So what they are saying is quite correct. I came back with empty double. I've heard it now. Uh, what do I do? Nothing. Let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Ogugiba <laughs> As you know, you will give well, you will do good. Oh, do good. When you pull up, follow me and you run up above me and I do. I want to give what you want on your own near. Eh? Is you have no quabble? Kiss on your eye, I call no. I can then go, look at you and a man. I think you really can't talk in a cheap or rope with me. Nagi be here, your back. Sigi, quit it all. Jamu Bokalaman, Wokalaman. Eguana Tran Abu Bulu. I can then give a man a melee give. Can he be a melee? I'm going to buy an Ayogi. An Ayogu. Now you give an Ayogu. Now you got a week. Now you go Gunu Gundu. But I'm not going to have a Ruka or Buruka. If I bought you, I took a line, I you to Gava. As a man, my team will leave it. Why do you do? We look at it all in a chair, good open, eh? When I Onye keli madu ga pu enyo onu ana emere ebio. Ama na na kwa tani ya ya. Eh? 
believe in it, man. What do you want, man? Bu na bo ke fe na podi to ponya na ndu ponya no mu E fe ni ngali bi ye yo karama to karama mo ji ki kuri ka to ji na chi e bo ru opo ni du 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 E e ke na ngi Di ve ka ni ma dura fo nyo no na mere bi ana kwa tali aya Bu na bo no ni den ka bi O bo no ni kotele bu kotele ku ni ana e fe mo mangu egu ni ba ni Ya mo mi ya Agu e wuza agu wano I of the God I greet you Just this afternoon My two children were in blind I don't know what I have done Can you help me? Please, I of God Help me I will help you You will get five tubers of yam and one large white cock. Produce these items as soon as possible so we can make some sacrifice to Gugwebani and all the nonsense in your house will stop. The eye of the gods, I hear you. Thank you very much. The only one I have in this whole world, he has gone deaf and dumb. No, he has gone deaf and dumb. Uh, wait. We are heading to Igwe's palace. Eh? To see the Igwe and find out what is happening. Let's go to Igwe first. And find out what is wrong. Sorry, bro. No, no, sorry. Hi. Immediately, I go to your call. What do we call this? This is the way I saw you too. Mm. All of a sudden, this came on her. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Hey! My God! What is the meaning of this? Any village where no savage Jesus here. Your Highness, what is wrong? What has happened to the Queen? My people, I can't explain. All of a sudden, this sickness came on her. Hmm? 
I don't know. I've never seen this type of sickness before. Mm -hmm. eh? Take hand. Take hand. Take God of Allah. What is happening? My people are in trouble. How can we explain this? What we call this? Hey! Any village where no sabi Jesus here. If we suit if I marry poppy, we put them on. Isn't it obvious that God is angry with this land? I mean, what other explanation do we need for all that has been happening? It is true. Ugunadabwe has committed so much atrocities that even God himself is angry with us. Oskwa. It's not also. It's on them. We are children of God, so God will never plague us. But I think we need to speak to Father Emeka. He needs to talk to God on our behalf on this issue. What do you want him to do? This land does not want God, so they are actually paying for their sins. We don't need to call him. Mama. Uh, I want to go and see Adora. There's an assignment we are doing together. Mm -mm. You are not going anywhere. Go back inside. It's not safe out there. Makagini, he is a child of God. And he is covered in the blood of Jesus. Amen. And he is safe anywhere. Auntie. Where is your rosary? Always wear it. Thank you very much, Auntie. I'll be back soon, Mama. Mm -hmm. Let him go. Just let him go. He came, I'm scared. Why? You shouldn't be. We are more than conquerors. God made us in the image of Christ. We cannot put our arms and watch our land being destroyed. Hmm? We must do something. Something like what, Ibe? Um, maybe we should consult the chief priest. The gods must know about this. Chichi Akuma, you are hundred percent right. Hmm? Two of you should hurry to the shrine now. Eh? Yes. I will be, will be back soon. Any village where no sabi Jesus here, a quest to give a mere poppy, a Buddha malala. Any village where they bow for I do lay, a quest to give a mere poppy, a Buddha malala. No one at the fabula, women look to fat. Where was the money? I don't to do. I want to have a monarchy. What you want to be doing? i not a man. I'm 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 not a man. i i it's in Guanala and Kuak here. Belly be a brown on Anica. I don't want to be seen, not a body, I joke. 
Awale manya bu ba me. Ananya ne beri ikwe. Ogugu. Anya be ikwe. Obunde mo. Greetings, Eye of the Gods, great man of Uguna and the welcome. What can I do for you? Eye of the Gods, we've come to seek the face of the gods because of the things that are happening in our land. Yes, the land is on fire and many people are dying. Strange things are happening and people are confused. You're welcome. All right, let me consult the gods. I want to give you several Pabu. And then you're about to go to the bed. Eh? Can I be a medieval? I want to be a tool. Then I got you a wound. Then I got you a set. Then what's the way you can? I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Anyway. Can I have a medieval? The gods are silent. Do they want our people to continue to, to suffer and all these illnesses and die? And they want us to perish. Uh, the gods have said nothing yet. And until they speak, there is nothing I can tell you. You must go. Let me continue with my divination. Hey. Okay. Any village where no sabi Jesus here, a quest to be a copy of Bodamana. Any village where they bow for I do learn, a quest to be a copy of Bodamana. No one at Tifa, Bola, who ever looked Tifa, a quest to be a copy of Bodamana. What do we call this illness? I don't know, my daughter. This is beyond my imagination. Mm. It's obvious this land is under a siege. When I was coming, I saw a lot of people crying. Weeping. Mama, this situation in this land is very serious. It's very, very serious. Mm. I believe that the gods will reveal what the problem is. They had better be fast. They had better be fast about it because people are suffering. Mm. How is your husband and his people doing? I guess they are fine. Just that my husband has my husband is beginning to become impatient with me. Do you blame him? Which man will live with a woman for eight years without a child? Mama, but it's not my fault. It's not my fault that I do not have a child. The cause has refused me the fruit of the womb. I'm worried too, my daughter. You need a child to save your marriage. You know these days are modern times. And men of these days are not as patient as men of our own generation. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Mm. Sorry. Your Highness. The chief priest did not give us any answer. He said the gods have not spoken to him. 
and until they do, the situation remains the same. We are in danger then. Ugunadabe is in danger. There is nothing else anyone can do. We should all pray that the gods speak fast. The cries and the pains of my people trouble my heart. Not to talk of the issue in my own household. How do I call myself their leader when I cannot save them? Hmm? Hi. Your Highness, you cannot speak for them. And their silence is just for a brief time. Your Highness, what baffles me is what our people or someone within us may have done that triggered off this great anger of the gods against us. I find it difficult to believe what we are saying because our people are very peaceful and we obey the gods. Any village where no sabi Jesus here, Any village where they bow for I do May the peace of the Lord be upon this household. No, 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 Father. Peace has eluded my family. No, no, no. It's okay. That's okay. All we see is sorrow. The devil has come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. All we need is healing to restore the sight of my children. That's all we need. In the book of Malachi 4, verse 1 and 2, it says, Surely the day is coming. It will burn like a furnace. All the arrogant and every evildoer will be stubble. And that day that is coming will set them on fire says the Lord Almighty. Not a root or a branch will be left of them. But for you who revere my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing on its wings. And you will go out and leap like cows released from the storm. Are you willing to accept him? Yes, Father, we accept. We accept. We are accepting. Even now, we accept everything. What do you want us to do? How do you to see him? Say after me. Our Father. <laughs> Our Father, you know, you know. What's what in heaven? heaven? I love you, thy name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Lead us not into temptation. Gods of our forefathers. Gods of our ancestors. I come before you to seek answers. I am Yel Yoba, your chief priest. If I have failed in my duties, tell me, and I shall make amends. I ask you, what has Ubunadebe done 
to deserve all that you are inflicting on her. What have we done? We have offered you sacrifices whenever you have demanded them. I am your voice. I am your eyes. And I, your ears. Whenever the people grumble, I tell you. And you tell me how to relate to them. Now, all we suffer are plagues. Plagues and more plagues. Every single day, this land mourns. This land cries. This land wails if we have done wrong. Tell me. And we shall make expiations accordingly. I am ready to make sacrifices, to atone for our failures, to make amends for our weaknesses. But please, I beg you as your chief priest, whatever we may have done, forgive us. Tell me. And I shall offer sacrifices to you accordingly. Forgive my people. Forgive my people. Forgive my people. Father, this land is under a siege and the people are suffering. Father, they need your help at this point. They need your help now. They do not need my help, Mama. They need Jesus Christ. He is the only one who can save them. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Yes, I know, but you can help pray for them. Mm -hmm. I have been praying for them. I have been interceding on their behalf, but God hasn't told me anything yet. But I strongly believe He will deliver His people. Amen. Nam, you have to pray more. You have to pray more, Nam. Because this land belongs to us. And you will not let our people perish. Our people perish from lack of knowledge. Knowledge of the Almighty God. He alone can turn this land around. And no one else. You forgot it, Ketan. They will readily accept the gospel because everyone is suffering. Mm -hmm. Like I said, God will deliver this land. Your Highness, Ugugu demands a sacrifice of seven virgins. And this must be carried out within a space of 40 days. Every single member of this community must be present at the venue because we shall see the opportunity to renew our vows to the deed. These seven female virgins, are they all going to be daughters of uh, Ruguna Adabe? Mm, not necessarily. They can be obtained from neighboring towns. Then, we'll have to source them out from other land. That's what we will do. Getting virgins is not going to be a very easy task. To find virgins these days is difficult, so we must start now to look for them. Yet we must get them to stop this plague. Yes. Certainly, if we perform the sacrifices, the plague will stop. And as I told you, every member of the community must be there. Uh, that will be done. When it is time, the town crier will take the message across to the people. Like I keep telling you, there is need for us to turn back to God. The reason there is so much darkness in this community is because God's people have turned away from Him. The Bible admonishes to come close to God. I got to That is the only way there will be progress in this community. 
The devil has come to keep us in bondage, but we shall not let it. The kingdom of God is of those who seek his face. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffered violence, and only the violence can take it. Therefore, in your youth you shall serve the Lord. In your youth you shall choose to take it by force. Now, I tell you to tell the next person. That is how the kingdom of God expands. There is more light. You will see progress. You will see God's grace and favor upon your family. You will see the touch of the Holy Spirit. He will save you. Come to Jesus. Come, 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 come to Jesus. He's the true God, oh. Which he can go do, go free challenge him. If you never know Jesus in Africa, what a type of God of free challenge him. If you never know Jesus in Africa, life where you did not go to get him more. Life where you can live, not good to get them more. I still think that what the gods are asking is very, very stringent. Outrageous. Uh, Ichi Akuma, I don't think we have a choice over this matter. If the gods say, bring seven virgins, then we must bring them. Just like I pointed out when we were in the palace. Getting girls that are virgin is a very hard task. It's a mission impossible. You are right. It's very difficult. The way girls of these days open their legs for men, very embarrassing. It was not so in our time. I blame civilization and the advent of the internet. You're right. Huh? You're right. All these modern facilities have reduced the world to a global village. And everything is being done with the internet. Uh, exactly. You see, uh, it is it is a very difficult situation. You see, I blame this uh, uh, civilization. How are we sure that the gods are not angry against us over this uh, modernization? Eh? Can you imagine? Mm. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you It is not so hard to pray. Prayer is the simplest thing to do. You do not have to shout to high heavens before you can offer prayers to God. All you need is dedication, concentration, reverence. Acknowledge there is a God. Put yourself in the Spirit. Commune with Him. Communicate with Him. When you want to pray, go this way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Anarchy. It is bad enough that we are worshipping a strange god at the expense of Ogugu. But please, restrict your preaching to the premises of your church and leave Uguna Adebe alone. There is only one true God, Papa. And Him alone I serve. I don't know why you're so filled with blasphemy. Don't provoke Ogugu. I warn you, don't provoke Ogugu. I sincerely pray the good Lord to open your eyes and let you see Jesus Christ seated on the throne. 
I sincerely hope Ogugu does not remember you. Which you can go do go free challenge him. If you never know Jesus in Atunyaka, what a type of God free challenge him. If you never know Jesus in Atunyaka, please can I sit with you there? No. I don't want you to sit with me and discuss anything. I can yeah. Have you not destroyed me enough? Hey. Have you? Nanai, what have I done? Nanai? You have turned the heart of my only son against me. Hey. You have made me a laughing stock among my peers. Hey. And you want to sit with me and talk? No. Nanai. I did not turn Emeka's heart against you. Neither did I make him the priest of the Most High God. God himself called him and he answered. No, I didn't do anything. Ekema, I regret the day I paid your bride price. I mean it. Every single word of what I've just told you I mean. And I curse the day my son Onochia was conceived of my loins. Now I know I don't have a family. Just just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Children of God, my heart is always filled with joy anytime we are gathered like this. Honor Tom Otom. Because gradually the light of God is penetrating this community. And that is our aim. To make sure that we shed the light in every nook and cranny of this community. We cannot bow down to our idols. We cannot be part of paganism. We cannot let it thrive. Hi, Bumujuku. We must show the light, the light of God. That is the reason we are called children of Christ. I learned that they have faced that festival on the day we are celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. On Easter Day. The kingdom of God must shed the light. We shall take it to their doorsteps. That is why we are called children of God. We are the chosen ones. We shall not let the devil hold us captive. We cannot remain perpetual slaves. That is the word of God. Therefore, I have decided for us to hold an adoration service after Sunday Mass. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Yes. So, yes. We shall proclaim the powers of Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.
How's your family? We're fine, and your people? Adema, Goma, we're okay. Uh, have you had the latest? Latest again? Uh, what is happening? Hey, that small boy who calls himself a Reverend Father has gone to fix his church program on the very day of the festival. Uh, that boy, the other oh, oh, fool, does he not know that it's been announced that nobody should go out? We are going to concentrate on that festival. Nobody should fix nobody anything, any counter, that everybody must be um, attendance in yes. must be in attendance on that very festival. Yes. Nobody should be exempted. Yes. And the boy has gone ahead to defy the instructions. Alunu, what a front tree. Do you know what? That boy is, is now challenging the gods. Hmm. He's challenging the gods. He must be dealt with. Thank you. He must be dealt with. He can deal with you. Meanwhile, let us go and tell the Igwe. Yes. Let's start dealing with the Igwe him. Must hear this. Start dealing with yeah. him because that boy. I can see you want to trim this man. Uh, Very happy that the Reverend Father fixed the adoration service the same day evil men want to defile this land. It's a good thing. Of course it is. At least Ugunadabu will be salvaged from evil men. As you go by, I'm not happy. In fact, I am scared. You don't need to be scared. This adoration service will liberate our land. I'm scared. I'm scared for the life of my son, Eleka. I'm scared for the crisis that might erupt because of this. Will you fight God's fight? Will you? Allow him now. Let him do his wish. I don't want anything to happen to my son. Yeliopa has decided to have the head of my son. He cannot. He cannot touch the Lord's anointing. There is no man that can touch the Lord's anointing. No man. This is madness. This is an affront to the very powers that I hold in this land. That boy has dared me. Eh? Your Highness, <laughs> it baffles me why that boy will choose to challenge the gods. <laughs> Something drastic must have to be done. If not, he will desecrate the sacred tradition of our people. That will not happen to me. Summon the chief priest at once. Mm -hmm. eh? yes. 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 Great man. Tell the Igwe that this is not a battle for mortals. Mm -mm. It's a war for the gods, and there is nothing he can do about it. 
tell him that too. You must caution that boy. If he does not take his time, I will take drastic action against him. Igwe, I've told you before, and I'll say it again. This is a fight for the gods. Yes, but he is your son. No. Igwe, that's where you're wrong. Igwe, you're wrong there. He is no longer my son. I don't have a son. Honor chases to be my son the moment he walked into my house wearing that white material. I have left him to the fate decreed for him by the gods. Let the gods decide. Oh yes, let the gods decide. He is no longer my son. Which he can go do go free challenge him. If you never knew Jesus in Atunyaka, what a life of God free challenge him. The Igwe has asked me to tell you people that the upcoming festival of sacrifices is compulsory for everybody. Everybody must come for this occasion. And no other occasion we hold on that day. Anyone that defaults will be severely punished. I'll deliver the message. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell you that I'm going if you never serve Jesus, brother, you are spiritually blind. You. Come, come, come. That the upcoming festival of sacrifices is compulsory for everybody. Everybody must come for this occasion. And no other occasion we hold on that day. Anyone that defaults will be severely punished. I'm delivering the message, though. Come, 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 come to Jesus. He will save you. Come, 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 come to Jesus. He's the true God. Which he can go do, go free challenge him. If you never know Jesus in Atunyaka, what a type of God be challenge him. If you never knew Jesus in Atunyaka, life where you did not go to get a man. Life where you did not go to get a man. Nobody's going to be in this occasion. And no other occasion is to be born that day. Anyone that defaults will be seen as a man. Any village where no sabi Jesus here, a place to give a very poor people to Any village where they bow for I to lay, a place to give a very poor people to Malala. No one at all. People of Google are not with this one. Lucifer, the evil has asked me to tell you that the upcoming festival of sacrifices. It's compulsory for everyone. And no one is to miss this occasion. And no other occasion we hold that day. Anyone that defaults will be severely punished. I've given the message, Joe. Adai, in Egekwe, how do you go on them? What is going to happen? Nothing will happen. The devil is a liar. We cannot be stopped. Hey, come on, Guinea. This is the clash I've been so afraid of. You don't need to be afraid. God is the greatest. Nothing will happen. They cannot do anything. Let's go. Jesus in Atunyaka. Life where you did not go to get some more. 
Life away you the live no good to get them Which you can go to go feature in them If you never know Jesus in Atunyaka What a type of God feature in them If you never know Jesus in Atunyaka Life away you the na God to get them Life away you the live no good to get them What fetish thing are you bearing in my compound? Nani. Eh? You're welcome. It is not a fetish thing, it's just a cross. A cross of a guinea. Eh? Papa, Papa, stop this. Get Papa. Fall in. Papa, we're only preparing for the commencement of the stations of the cross now. Papa, get away. Leave my cup. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. I'll wait, man. I'll wait, man. Papa, sir. What is this? So hey! Papa, Papa, stop this. Papa, 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 stop. Papa, stop. Papa, stop. Station of the crop. Station police or station Guinea. Station train. Station aeroplane. They're going to be here. We're going to be here. We're going to be here. Kusinkano, <laughs> Mwazo anho akboro ya mbo anho la wano lo ya. Se buruna ala. Le. Ede bere nwata. Mako dida na mbilita o tutu madu ni Israel. Obi ha mu matu agi kute kuto. Kewe uwe chiche na o tutu madu no bi. Mamaya gamawa gobi. 
Oye nwai Me kan were nigi di asobu maria ke izibo nnem Hoya nanya kisi hoya nanya Na asopure ya maki higi Jesum these church people are there in the Igwe and the gods. They are busy carrying around their fetish god all around the land. Do I blame them? It is that little boy, Onoche, you see, who is poking his hands into our eyes. Because his father is Yelioba and he thinks there is nothing the man can do. But this thing is not about the, his father. It's not about his father. It's about everyone in this land. It's about our sacred tradition. He is the father. Hey. Nah. Yeah. In times like this, we are tempted to go to war. And it's to save our image. But like his father rightly put it. It is the God. The battle is for the gods. That boy will see. Definitely. He will see. He will know that battle. Uh, 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 I love your giant. Papa, Papa, what is going on? What are we going to do about Mama's condition? My daughter, the girls have spoken, and we must patiently wait. Wait? Yes. Wait until when? I mean, what if Mama dies? What if she can't wait any longer? Once the sacrifice is done, everything will be over, and your mother will be well again. <sighs> You know what? I just, I just want to be sincere with you. Sometimes I think our gods are really not as supreme as we make them to look. Look, shut up your mouth. Don't incur the wrath of the gods with this your blasphemous words. Eh? Hey! Then they should do something. They should do something fast. They should do something about my mother's condition. Kusin Kasa, Jesu Adan Kubora Bua, and yes, it Borogi Jesu, Nen Yakele. Kedi Hem Merun, Ole Noi Hem Jiri Megiduno, Zanum, Eji Machi Church as well, no neighbor. Manuna kuda alamna, garusa manu, sepuluna. How dare you challenge Ogugu? I'm not 
You see, I want you. I want you. About challenging of you. You have killed my son. My only son. You have killed him. You are satisfied. He's dead. Go ahead and eat the corpse. What are you coming to? Oh, to confirm that he's dead, isn't it? Yes, he's dead. You have done well. Now leave my compound. I shall leave my compound now. Your Highness, my son cannot just die like that. Eh? Something must be done very fast. That little evil boy and his group of witches and wizards cannot just kill my son like that. And he cannot get away from it. Your Highness, this is an opportunity for us to punish those idiots. Unoka, I know how you feel. The pain of losing a son, not to talk of an only son. Your Highness, I have come from some distance. Let me sit down. Here you are. You go. You're welcome. I bring you a message from the gods. The gods have decreed that honor Che should be sacrificed along with the virgins. Eh? Honor Che? The one and only son you have to be sacrificed? He seems to be my son when he turned against me and put on the sultan. He will be sacrificed. The gods have so decreed. If the gods have so decreed, then who are we to question the gods? I must order for his arrest now before he escapes. May your days be long, Igwe. I must be on my way. Igwe. Thank you. Father. Mama. Uh? Okay, what are you doing here? No. These people are mean. They have decided to hurt you. They have decided to hurt you by all means. <sighs> Mama, do not be afraid. They won't harm me. I am not afraid of he who can kill the flesh, but I'm afraid of God Almighty who is capable of condemning the soul. I am a child of God, don't worry, they can't do anything to me. I know, but I heard that they have perfected a grand plan 
to kill you. Not because you have to be more careful. Pico. Pico. I will. One with God is majority. my son. Who? Who took who? They have taken my son. They want to kill him. Nobody can kill him. Don't cry. God is in control. Hey, I want to go. I will not survive it if anything happens to my son. Nothing will happen to him. I will not survive it. Don't cry. Let's go and see what we can do. I will not survive it. I will not survive it. to release my son. He has not done anything to anybody now, Ibiko. There is no point in plugging a dead horse. Hmm? This case is beyond redemption. Hey. Tell me I can do about it. Nay. You have a reasonable control over the Igwe. Please plead with him to free my son. The gods have condemned on you. There's nothing anybody can do about it. have been waiting for. Today is the day we shall sacrifice seven virgins to our God to stop the calamity that has befallen this land. 
for a very long time. We have had to live with plenty of calamity. A lot of atrocities have characterized life in our community. But today, it will all end because the God whom we serve, the God that provides us with all what we need, the God that defends us at the time of war, will have these virgins sacrificed to him. <laughs> Hagi bobu madum bosindu na agusi eike isi abulu kwa bobu eh oti mata ni runi bora na boke kwa na bodi ke oponya nandu oponya nangu bobu kwa kenengi come and take your sacrifice ugu I call upon you to come. The sacrifice you demanded, I hereby present to you, Ogugu. Seven virgins. Seven virgins that you demanded. Here, come, 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 Ogugu. Take your virgins. What is going on here? What is going on here? Ogugu, where are you? Come and take your virgins. Stop wasting your time calling upon a dead god. Ogugu is dead. There is only one true god. And he is God Almighty who is in heaven, the god we serve. Him alone can answer you. Give up and surrender to Christ. You blaspheme against Ogugu. Ogugu will shut that mouth of yours for you. Ogugu, come and take your sacrifice. He yearly over commands you, Ogugu, come, come, come and take your sacrifice. Isn't it obvious Ogugu is dead and asleep? He cannot hear you. People of Uguna Adabwe, huh? Ogugu is not a god. Ogugu has gone to sleep. You can see for yourself today. That Ogugu is so, so powerless. There is only one true God and Him alone we shall serve. We cannot continue in perpetual bondage. We cannot continue in this kind of life. There is so much darkness in this land. It is time for it to flee. I call upon you, God of Israel. Come and take charge. Come and take preeminence because this is your dwelling place. We cannot remain slaves forever to the devil. What are you mad people doing here? Play me some music. I want to dance. You spirit of madness. This body is not your dwelling place. This body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the name above all names, I command you to lose your hold. Lose your hold! I call upon you, Father King of Glory! Arise, let your enemies be scattered! Come this day and make a name for yourself! Your people have so been tormented! They have been held under the grip of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you to regain your sight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, regain your sight. Behold! Mama, thank you, my son is okay. Hey, hey, my son, my son, you're okay. Hey, what happened? I'm happy. I don't know. Hey, my son. People of Uguna isn't it obvious? There is only one true God. Ogugu is not a God. 
Oh, we can never hear your cries. Oh, we can never come to your rescue. There is just one God, and Him alone we shall serve. We cannot bow to any other but Him who is in the most high. He who is seated upon the throne. He from whom all things come. He alone we shall serve. My people, I urge you to choose this day whom you shall serve. Look at him. Choose this day whom thou shalt serve. For me and my household, we shall serve the Lord. God Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth. Without him, there is nothing. Without him, we are nothing. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord! Hallelujah. <laughs> Father, my son, If you never knew Jesus in Atunyaka, what a type of God to feature in Jamu? If you never knew Jesus in Atunyaka, life where you did not go to get a more, life where you did live not go to get a If you never serve Jesus, your brother, you are spiritually blind. You come, 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 come to Jesus, He will save you. Come, 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 come to Jesus, He's the true God. Which He can go to go free challenge him. If you never know Jesus in Atunyaka, what a type of God to be challenge If you never know Jesus in Atunyaka, life where you did not go to get a more. Life where you did live not go to get a more. 